As an early stage company, you will most likely be involved in some type of transaction that includes the purchase and sale of securities. That's where Regulation D comes into the picture. Regulation D prescribes the qualifications companies must meet to be exempt from registration of their securities. Securities come in many shapes and forms, such as common stock, convertible notes, stock options, warrants to purchase stock, a promise for future equity, and so much more. Why do we have Regulation D in the first place? Well, this provides early stage companies and their investors to take part in funding transactions without going through the onerous and expensive SEC registration process, making funding transactions more cost effective and efficient from both perspectives. Now that you know you have exemptions from registration, you still need to carefully plan your Regulation D offering. There are some timeline considerations, such as what forms need to be filed with the SEC to claim the exemption, the state filing requirements in relation to the sale of the securities, and which exemption under Regulation D will I formulate my offering. You must file your Form D with the Securities and Exchange Commission that states you are claiming an exemption. This form is rather simple and contains general information related to your transaction. It is due 15 days after the date of the first sale of securities. Your Form D may need to be filed in each of the domicile states of your investors. Depending upon which state your investor resides, the filing requirements and filing fees will differ from state to state. Be sure to prepare a proper budget for these closing costs so you are not caught off guard. Remember to make your filings on time since some states impose late fees. Under Regulation D, Rule 504 has certain offering size limits, allows for several investor types, and can impose stricter state filing requirements. If compliant with its requirements, you are able to generally solicit your offering under this rule. Rule 506B is the most popular exemption among private funding transactions. Although you are unable to advertise your offering, you have unlimited offering size limit, you can take some non-accredited investors, and most SEC and state filings can be made electronically. This makes the filing process very efficient. You are, however, required to have a pre-existing relationship with each of your investors under this rule. Rule 506C is gaining in popularity because it allows for general solicitation of your offering. Although all the investors in this type of offering must be accredited and verified, there is no offering size limit and the disclosure requirements are minimal. As stated previously, Plan your private offering very carefully and consult with a qualified professional so you avoid costly mistakes and compliance errors. When used correctly, Regulation D is a safe harbor tool to raise funds for your startup.